Hey guys, today I will be making a long-term re review on the Honda HRN 216VKA. Uh, I've had this mower for six months. Um, this is a new 2020 model. I bought it um, right around when it came out, uh, a couple months later actually. But um, yeah, I bought it from Lowe's. It cost me $409 and I want to show you guys uh, my thoughts positive and negative and hopefully I can help you guys decide if this is the right mower for you now I have a small very very small yard and um, I don't need nothing big like a zero turn or a tractor uh, I can just do it with this and um, I had a Husqvarna a self-repelled Husqvarna from uh, Sears that um, messed up after many years um, so I had to go and buy a new one and I went to the store and I would only find like Craftsman and uh, Brakes and Stratton engine uh, mowers and I do not like that um, I've always had um, Honda products in my life and I've been so happy with them so I want to stick with this one and even though it was the most expensive one it was one of the ones with the highest reviews of people having positive experiences after purchasing this mower uh, there are not a lot of videos on YouTube um, about it so I want to kind of give you guys some information hopefully y'all can then decide if this is the right mower for you uh, overall I am very very happy um, it was like I said uh, one of the most expensive ones they had on the floor but I guess um, it deserves that price because it is very very reliable and people do not lie go on the Lowe's website go on other websites and you will see this has many many thousands of five-star reviews people are very happy I am happy and hopefully you can be a new owner of one of these mowers soon so I'm gonna go uh, step by step kind of show you guys a little bit about it and then I'll turn it on for a quick um, run of the engine uh, it's gonna be kind of hard with one hand but I'll make it happen uh, I just finished mowing my yard so this is how it would look uh, I have a small yard very small I still have to do a little bit of weeding but this is how it'll leave the grass and I am very very happy as you can see under trampoline that's how the grass looked I live in South Georgia and it's been hot it's been wet it's been very very humid and overall the grass is growing like crazy so I'm gonna go step by step and hopefully you guys can decide uh, let me know what you guys think uh, help me out give it a thumbs up if you like it or subscribe it's up to you guys but uh, if people like it I'll start you know making more videos like this on things I buy um, of all the things that I buy anyways this is the box it came in it is a big box um, I have a Acura MDX and it barely fit in the back so uh, if you do buy it I recommend you have a truck or a small 5x8 trailer will fit or a 4x6 trailer will do but it will not fit inside of most minivans or uh, small very small SUVs or you know obviously sedans but uh, it is a bigger box um, I think they deliver I'm not really sure you would have to call them up but this is the box this is the HRN 216 VKA let's see the side of the box it has some information as you can see it'll show you the capacity of the bag 1.9 has two uh, positions for the handle it has a three-year warranty uh, mind you though it is a residential warranty it is not um, commercial uh, I know some people uh, might need one for mowing uh, you know if they have their own landscaping business um, I want to say this will do the job but the warranty is only residential this is not a um, you know commercial more uh, it has seven cutting heights what it means uh, is from one to one inch to four inches it'll go like one one and a half two two and a half so it has seven positions it has eight inch wheels right here um, I thought I would not like that um, 
but I, I went online and I was seeing people that bought it and they were very happy with it um, I bought it uh, I've had mowers before but the mowers I've bought before have the larger wheel in the back which kind of helps to you know go up and down um, stuff <laughs> And uh, I want to say I'm very happy. I have had no issues with it. Uh, it doesn't, you know, stick or bog or anything. I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, this handle right here, they call it a smart drive. It's basically um, to control it. You push the gray in. The more you push it in, the faster it goes. The less you push, you know, slower but still goes. Um, it has the new Honda engine, the GCV 170 engine. Uh, this engine replaces the GCV 160 engine. This is more reliable. It starts easier with one pull, um, and you know you can tackle very high, very, very big grass basically. It has a handle on the side where you can you know pull and adjust if you want to mulch or bag uh, the clippings. It has twin blades. I'll show you guys uh, the blades under the uh, mower. It's basically um, two blades <laughs> basically. Um, it helps it where it'll make the clippings smaller and uh, won't leave a mess anywhere. It has a heavy duty steel deck. Um, all this means is basically it's you know thicker, stronger. It won't uh, crack on the side. Uh, you know, fling stuff out, rocks and debris. And it has dual lever height adjustment system. You can adjust the uh, the wheels. Um, uh, from one to four, one inch to four inches. Uh, this is the one thing I don't like, and I'll show you guys in a minute. I do not like this a lot. It has a big um, defect, um, but overall, I mean, I'll do with it. I'll deal with it. It's uh, not that big of a deal, but it kind of, you know, I wasn't expecting for something this high of a price, uh, four hundred nine dollars, you know, plus Georgia tax to have this defect, and I'll show you guys. And again, it has a three-year warranty, twin blade, uh, advantage, that's what they call it. And this is the box. Just has, you know, the cardboard. What that paper says is just basically make sure you have in, uh, oil in the engine. It comes with the, uh, the bagging system. The owner's manual. And it comes with the oil. Here's a picture in case you need to buy some more or you are wondering about it this is the Honda um, genuine oil it's a 10w30 this is the back of it it does come in the box and it uh, you gotta fill all of it in the mower this is the mower let me do a quick um, quick uh, Turn. And this is the smart trap system right here. Okay, now let's start. Start with the engine. This is the GCV engine. Like I said before, it's a 170, the new um, new model. Just basically easier to start with an auto choke system. You got the sticker down there. You got the 8 inch wheels on the side. You got the adjustable right here. You see, you can see you have one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four. Like I was telling you guys, this is the thing I don't like right here. Uh, these are plastic and they are very easy to adjust I'm doing it with one hand while recording with the other one as you can see very easy to adjust um, my only gripe with this mower will be this overall other than this this is a perfect mower these are plastic and with time they will break if you have it in a shed like I do you'll be fine but if you have it outside in the sun, this will break. So if you buy it, keep it under shade, keep it under your carport, under your shed. Otherwise, after a few years, they will break. So I just want to tell you guys ahead of time, be careful. 
but they are very easy to adjust. It only has it on one side, as you can see, but you can adjust it very easy with one hand. Um, the wheels are plastic, um, plasticky rubber basically, but they're not um, very uh, thready, but they do the job. They don't, you know, stick, bog down. It has the air filter. It has this handle on the side. You pull it, pull this out, push it in, and you can decide if you want to bag it, bag the clippings, or you want to mulch them. I always mulch them. You have the uh, the knob to turn on the turn off the uh, gas. Got the uh, got the oil. Just get the more. Open this up. Put the oil in there. And got a warning label. Got the wheels. Wheels. It does get very dirty. Um, I just got finished cutting this and it got very very dirty as you guys can see so every other time you cut just uh, wipe it down and smart drop system uh, to use the mower you have to pull this in otherwise if you let this go the mower will cut off so I'm gonna turn it on and show you guys a little bit so you can hear the engine I'm gonna pull this in I'm gonna hold the phone with this hand. Let me... Okay, now I'm gonna pull the string. Now let's try it again, just so you guys can see. Very easy to start. I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but let's do it. And the handle right here, look. It is. There you go. I already cut right here. You can see the quality of the cut right here. Let me know what you guys think. If y'all like this video, remember like, subscribe, and I'll keep making videos like this. Oh, before I go, I need to show you guys this. If we lift the mower up. Let me do it from the front. I gotta show you guys this. Pretty cool. As you guys can see, that's the uh, twin blade from Honda. That basically means um, it will just cut the grass, you know, finer. It won't leave uh, big clippings anywhere. It will just leave it nice like this. I still have to uh, do a lot of weeding back there, but. From the grass being high, like that, I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy with this. Uh, so hopefully I helped somebody. You know, decide if you want to purchase this or not. Let me know, guys. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, I'm very happy with this mower. I know it'll last me many, many, many years because it is a Honda. I will make sure though I keep it on the. Uh, under my shed though because of these two things this one and this one that's the only defect I've seen so far but yeah anyway anyways let me know let me know what you guys think I'm very happy with this mower hopefully you guys can go online or go to Lowe's Home Depot and purchase this one uh, soon now that the uh, season's kind of ending and get a deal. Uh, thanks for watching.